Welcome back to Sailing Ruby Rose from underneath hole one. See when 70. We are getting pretty close to the pointy end, the upholsterers, the final carpentry, the woodworking station underneath. This is epic. We are so close. Thank you for following us for so many years to get this boat completed. Keep watching. We're almost there, viewers. Now I'm going to start today actually underneath the boat because it's been a while since we've been under a boat. I guess at some point I'll be scraping the hull. But there's a few things I want to show you. We talked a lot about escape hatches. People talk so much about escape hatches and how they leak. These do not open. They are fixed. They are brake glass in case of emergency. There's those to show you. There's a lot of things going on underneath here. And then we'll zip on board and show you the interior. Okay, so we're underneath port side hull number one. What we have here is a lightning protection system. More about that because we are having a Ruby Rose So after we did this last time, a few episodes ago, I'm just going to go and see the boat cold. I normally, as I said to you, do a, work, a walk through. But today, I just want to show you with my own eyes as I see it. So the reactions you're going to get are from me seeing this as I step on board. And I've been told I have to take my shoes off so that I don't sully anything. Slip off the old sandals. That's a joke, by the way. They all got the same shoes. All the same shoes, all the same size shoes. I don't know which shoes are which. I'm going to go through things that I picked up on. Things that are super important. Fire ports. A engine fire port. Why do we have fire ports on a boat? It's because essentially, if you ever end up with an engine fire, you end up in a situation where if you open the engine hatch or the engine locker or the engine bay door to address the fire, to put the fire out, you feed the fire and it actually makes it worse. So having a little port there, for those of you who don't know, I know that you have, we have many, many sailors amongst us, but a little port there means you can just puncture it, put your fire extinguisher in there, and then you don't have to feed the fire. So that's good. Exterior plugs. That is for shore power. So we've got shore power connection there. We also now have the dinghy, the, the dinghy, the tender of one, and now we are kind of in the cockpit. So for those of you who wanted to see what the tender looks like in place with the davits in place, how that's all strapped in, there we are. That is going to be a fine, fine boat for Randy and Denise. Let's have another look, see what else we have here. Trava, I'm sure that's for the trifold door. So all this is in place. Steering's all finished. Now that we've all talked about, oh, probably far too much on the internet is the helm seat mechanism. Forward, backward, forward, backward. And now, in all its glory, want to sit there while you're having your barbecue? Yeah, why not? Well, up. There you go. Sit there looking back at the world. Excellent. Pretty chill. I can see the, the, the weight behind us. Want it forward so that you can see where you're going and not bang into things. There you go. Want one of each? There you go. So again, this home station is wide. And if you remember back to our catamaran reviews in 2019, what does a bench seat mean for us? Well, I'm going to tell you what it means. It means having a footrest so that you can actually sit and be in a position where shorter people, more diminutive people, are able to sit comfortably. Being wide enough for two, being forward backward, being comfortable on passage, having good visibility. This gives us all of that. And now, I want to take you inside and I'm going to walk back so I don't kind of blank out the light. Whoop. Okay, and here we are. Here we are. Now, James is in a meeting, so I'm pretty tempted to. Shall I? Shall I just remove all the cardboard so I can show you all? Yeah, I'll put it back. He won't, he will never know. Just don't tell James that I'm moving all this stuff, okay? Camera there. Right, good. Here we are. Kitchen, galley, galley kitchen. Sorry, James. Promise I'll put it all back in a bit. Galley cardboard off. This is our galley. Well, it's actually not ours. It's whole one's galley. But now you can see things that you're going to want to see. Cabinetry. Beautiful. We are not having this. this is, we're actually having the Corian version. The tap or the faucet. Never understood that. But again, we actually did a lot of work with this tap again a very long time ago about like, so yes, we have the tap that you would find in our, in our kitchen at home. And again, just the size, don't forget these are all gonna be electric windows. So this whole area 
He had to stand here, communicate with the skipper. Cup of coffee, skipper? Cup of coffee? Shot of rum? Yeah. This is huge and airy and I love it. What else do we have? We almost have a completed chart table. So yes, chart table. And upholstery. Ooh, that's nice. It is very, very, very nice. Also very comfortable. And I'm also gonna see, because probably a lot of us will be sleeping here. God, it's good. Yeah, it's pretty damn nice. The Vietnamese worker who is actually meant to be doing some sanding at is looking at me thinking, what the is this white guy doing laying on this sofa and talking up at the ceiling? Hello, Mr. Khan, I'm actually Hello. working. <laughs> I'll explain everything later. But this is nice. You know how long it's been I wanted to do this? Just lay down on a sofa on a catamaran on a 1370? It all seems pretty surreal. Anyway, as I watch the clouds and the zephyr zipping overhead, I better get up and do some work. So, what else? All the light switches. You know what? When, it come, when the, even the light switches are sexy, you have to kind of think, okay, we're doing well here. And then this huge sweeping, sweeping. Now it's like, this is all gonna be covered, but this is all gonna be covered in a lovely gray frosted panel. Then we've got all our opening windows now. God, it's good. Really, really damn good. Okay, so let's take a final look through this cabin. Look at the quality of this. Wow. It's in like, Seriously, this is epic. Wow. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know about that fit. Jesus, this carpenter needs a raise. This carpentry is amazing. Look at the quality. I just, it was amazing. This is the nicest woodwork I have ever seen on a boat. Sorry, exquisite. You've lost your crown. I think Discovery have lost their crown as well. I haven't, I haven't seen work like this. I have not seen work this good. This is amazing, amazing craftsmanship. Oh, the walk-in wardrobe. Sorry, I haven't been in here for a while. I'm gonna come back there with a light. So some of the shots that I've been showing you are dark because they are little nooks and crannies. And there's nothing better than a nook and or a cranny in the morning. However, it's not good for you lot because you don't get to see what I'm doing. So I brought this back with me from England, from our camera supplies, from the bits that I keep. And this is now going to illuminate what I'm about to show you. Okay. So, walk-in wardrobe designs. I want to show you all this. They're going to keep clamping all this in place first. So I guess that you guys have never seen the walk-in wardrobe as it was meant to be shown. And now I've got this lovely, lovely arc light. This is what we have to show you. So this is what the walk-in wardrobe is meant to look like. So some of you may remember in 2019 when we started doing these catamaran reviews, it seems like such a long time ago. One thing, ventilation, and there's a lot of ventilation today because it's super hot, but also the quality of joinery. And that was actually pointed out to me, it's not carpentry, it's joinery. The quality of joinery is a little indicator of the quality of what you're gonna get. So I'm gonna lay down a challenge to all of you. Show us your joinery. Show us the joinery in your boats. The joinery here actually, it actually reminds me of old English design boats, the older designs where everything was done in very, very high quality teak with craftsmen doing it. I always said that the Exquisite X5 and the Discovery Cataran had the best joinery. Actually, this is better. This is better. So, the gauntlet is laid down. I want you all, when you're considering buying Catarans, because let's all face facts, in 2023, boat shows are definitely back on the menu. When you go to the boat shows, look at the joinery. Post your pictures. There's no shame in it. There's no shame in posting a picture of a joint. Not that sort of joint, but you know what I mean. Show us what your joinery is. Take good look, because if it rivals this and it betters this, I want to know about it. But this has been an epic epic episode for me to film i hope you enjoyed this give us a like give us a thumbs up every time i come here 
we are inching closer to the bloody finish. But in three weeks time, this is gonna be zipping along at however many knots, doing whatever it's designed to do. And I, and I hope you are, are super, super damn pumped about it. Take care, I will see you all with this grin on my face next week. Goodbye.